For week two, we're going to take our week one circuit and we're going to add one of these little potentiometers to it. It has three pins. The two outer pins connect across the main resistance and the middle pin connects to the wiper. This is the sort of thing you'll find with all potentiometers. So I'll plug it into the board here. Three pins in three separate holes. And then I can adjust the position of the wiper by turning the knob on top here. So now I want to connect it up so that I can get a variable voltage. I'd like to have it start at a low voltage and move to a high voltage as I go around. So I'll connect the high voltage to this side. I'll connect that to plus 5. And then I'll connect ground to the other side. And what I hope I see is a variable voltage on the pin in the middle. So let's check that out. I'll plug my meter into ground, power it on, and then plug the, uh, the positive lead into the middle slot. And I see I get, well, it's out of range. So I need to switch to the lowest range that'll still give me a valid reading. And I get 4.99. That's with the knob turned all the way counterclockwise. Now if I turn it all the way clockwise, I get zero. Counterclockwise, plus five. Clockwise, zero. I think I'd like it the other way around, so I'm just going to connect things differently. I'm going to connect ground to this side and plus five to that side. And now I've got all the way clockwise, counterclockwise, zero, and as I rotate clockwise, I get a larger and larger positive voltage until I get up to the full 5 volts that my power supply is providing. So we're going to use this potentiometer as a variable voltage source that we can use as input to our Arduino. So we've connected all of the circuits here to analog and digital input ports. Now I'm going to connect the potentiometer also to one of the analog inputs. In this case, I'll take the meter out and I'll connect it over here to pin A0, the first analog input pin. And what I should see as I turn the potentiometer back and forth is varying voltages on that analog input pin. This setup will work fine during the lab when you're testing things out. And later on I'll move the potentiometer up over here so that it can be tucked in tidily uh, along with all the other stuff that we assembled in lab one.